option too, but here's the problem, okay? A couple days ago, I was standing in line at Starbucks, and this guy in front of me, he's short, and he's fat. He kind of looks like a car door reflection, if you know what I mean. And he goes up to the counter, and he leans over, and his ass is in my face. And I'm like, there it is. All of a sudden, on the back of his Levi's is a tag that says, 42 by 30. 42 by 30. Guys, why are you broadcasting this? This is not a good thing. It's not like I'm gonna go and buy you a pair of jeans, right? It's so gross. It's not gonna help you with the ladies, I can assure you that. What you guys need to do is broadcast numbers that count. So on the back of those Levi's jeans, maybe you should have your checking account balance by the number of homes you own, right? The higher that number is, the more likely we are to forgive that 42 inch waistline. Us ladies, we are never gonna wear clothes with tags on the back that have our dress size, right? Right, and it's not because we care what you guys think. We don't give two shits about that. We know all we need to do is show some boobs and you guys don't care whether we're a size four or 14, right? The reason why we ladies are never gonna wear clothes with a tag in the back that has a number on it is because we don't want to get shit from other women when we're standing in line at Starbucks. <laughs> Those women will be like, come here, girlfriend. Look at her. She thinks she's a size two. She is clearly a size 14 bitch. You're lying. That tag is hashtag lying tag. Why is it sometimes people are fat when they shouldn't be? Like, there's this show on the TLC network called Sister Wives. There's this guy, Cody. He's married to four women. They're all polygamists, right? The problem is, is he's fat and they're fat. When you're a dude and you're banging four women, you should look like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Not like the evening shift manager at Applebee's. Do you guys like, ladies, do you like when guys wear suits? <laughs> Right? When a guy wears a suit, he looks like he smells good. When a guy wears a suit, he looks like he has confidence. When a guy wears a suit, he looks like he actually has goals. But there's always such a mystery when a guy wears a suit. Like, nobody knows what's going on down here, right? Even a tailor has to ask, what's going on down there? The tailor's like, um, sir, do you typically dress to the left or do you typically dress to the right? Which means, hey dude, is your fuck stick usually on the left or is your one-eyed willy a righty? Right? It's just such a mystery when guys wear suits. But the second you guys toss on a pair of sweatpants, it's like you're broadcasting to the world what's going on down there. We can see your mushroom cap. We know if it's shaped like a cremini or a shiitake. Guys, just do yourselves a favor and don't wear sweatpants. Women can already tell how hung you are by the type of car you drive. Right, ladies? Guys who drive Ferraris and Lamborghinis, they're hung like a toothpick, right? I know because I used to date those guys rich as fuck. The only benefit was after dinner. They thought I was giving them a blowjob. But I was really just cleaning the lobster out of my teeth. Ladies, what you need is a guy who drives a smart car. Yeah, any guy with the confidence to drive that dinky two-seater piece of shit has got to be hung. He's got to be huge. He's got to have a dick so big it has its own elbow. Right? You've got to respect a guy who can rest his head on his head. 